All right, internet. <clears throat> a lot of my first look videos, I actually use this fitter a little bit. But today we're doing a real, real first look unboxing style. Mm-hmm. I think that should be enough for me to get in there. Uh, not really. Oh, we got another another package inside the package. Hopefully it doesn't have, uh, oh, do you see? Oh, that's all you're going to get to see. Now you're going to see more because you would have seen the thumbnail. You know what's up. Mm, love this knife. we got to review this someday. I love that knife. Gemini. Kaiser Gemini. Ray Laconico collaboration. All right. Oh. What? So, if you watch uh, Fabian Spin Space channel. Oh, crap. Just pumped the camera. I have a Velcro thing stuck to my sock. Uh, if you watch Fabian's channel you, um, and you've seen his portal video he did a while ago, he's kind of talking about how Emerson reached out about what to store spinners in. I don't know how much of that is actually true through him just messing with the guy, but either way, they come in a box with some little um, cotton in them. So this actually is coming in a coming in a nice little tin with a sticker on it, a little screw top tin. Nice. And it's a heavy package. We're going to need this for sure, aren't we folks? Let's get that turned on. Mm -hmm. Let's screw that on the bottom off so we can keep the random fabrications logo there. I really like the logo. Oh, look, I didn't realize uh, the stickers looks like the buttons, the portal buttons. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You can feel that through there. No problem. <gasps> Ooh. So, oops, sorry. So, I know he wasn't 100% happy with the machine finish on tungsten, but tungsten is hard to finish, and that's not too bad. Steel feels very soft on the edges. But tungsten is hard to work with, so... Um, it's the consistency isn't necessarily a hundred percent, but I know this stuff is a beast to work with. Let's make sure everything is good here. Under the hood, oh, she's heavy. And if you've seen my portal video, you know that. Uh, actually, I might release this before my portal video. My portal video has been completed and uploaded, but I haven't released it yet. Um, but everything's all good in there. Um, but anyway, my portal video, you mentioned, you'll hear me talk about the buttons, the tolerance is being really tight, so they kind of fit real tight in the bearing, but these fit nice, so that must not be a thing when I say all portal buttons. My scale turned off because we took too long, but that's okay. We'll take whatever time we want. Sorry, I bumped the camera again. Let's get these buttons on right. Mm -hmm. So this is the tungsten tri portal, y'all. So this might be the first tri portals that are out. He did an Indiegogo before he did this. For uh, stainless steel, but then they did the pre-order for tungsten. One seventy-one seven. Can y'all see that? One seventy-one seven. I guess the scale loses a little bit of that weight when I turn it sideways. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. So she's heavy. Let's spin it. Oh, look at this. Oh, his little uh, authenticity card. There's basically a sticker in the bottom. Tri portal slash W finish machined. Checked by EH as if there was anybody else doing QC. Oh, I'm really ready to spin this. You guys ready to spin this? Ooh. Tungsten. Oh, tungsten is so heavy. It's so fun. Wow, that's good. Woo. All right, let's check the balance. Tungsten's hard to balance because the metal itself isn't 100% dense. So even if you have the machining exact, you can still have density pockets, I think is what they refer to it as. And tungsten has so much weight and momentum. So we definitely have a heavy arm. It looks like it's this arm right here. And it's more on the corner of the arm, so somewhere in this section of the arm here. Will it stand up on its own? Yeah, look at that. Stand up here. <sighs> Baby. So tungsten is so much fun, especially for little light fidgeting. Because there's just so much weight and so much momentum, like you have no idea what this feels like. If you haven't had a tungsten spinner, there's just no excuse. This is heavy, boy, and that's why you get it. 171 grams. I don't have anything else here. I didn't bring everything else up to compare. Um, but let's look at the Hammer of God, for example. So Hammer of God is about the same size, technically a little bigger, significantly thicker, almost twice as thick, right? When we wait, hear that? <laughs> when we weigh this bad boy. 
118. So this is almost like another 50% more, right? If this in half at, is another 60 grams, right? 120 in half is 60, so another 50%, another 60 grams, getting us up to that 170. Um, that's tungsten for you, baby. Density. Oh, that's good. So it spins good, bearing's nice in there. We're in, we got a bearing that's in good shape. It's a hybrid ceramic. I don't know by whom. Let's take a look at that again. It was a stainless, kind of a traditional stainless steel cage, not like the hybrid ceramic bearing cages you see on um, on the um, stealth spinner, uh, stealth bearings, or on like the um, high velocity bearing from Fidget HQ. It looks a lot, it's a similar style as the Spinetic, just the regular stainless steel cage. So, um, Don't know who's doing it. I wouldn't be surprised if this was a terrapin bearing, to be honest. I know most makers don't like to talk about the bearings that are in there, and I also know that, um, um, or sh yeah, terrapin has uh, been sending bearings out, so somebody's using terrapin bearings for sure. But again, most makers won't tell you what bearings they're using, unless it's like a one drop, seems to be the one exception. Um, and that's the essentials bearings, the heck ruler bearings uh, people are talking about that are starting to use those, like the Corona and the Howl from, uh, Oh, I forget the name of their name, but um, anyway. Yeah, that's good, y'all. So let's take a closer look. Let's look at this machining a little bit better. So you can see the swirls in the machining that I know that he was trying to avoid so that you really just see, see how the light shines? Really just get that light shining without seeing all those swirls. Uh, but it still feels really smooth. Not quite like mirror finish smooth, but again, you can see the reflection of my fingernail that needs to be clipped, sorry. What about the side? So some of these corners are a little interesting. I imagine that that's just an issue with trying to machine. And again, this is, I, I haven't talked to the guy. This is all just me guessing. Um, but with machining tungsten and how hard it is, maybe there's little issues with little burrs and you really need to just round it down so it's not an issue. Also, there's so much weight and momentum, uh, even if it's machined as well as it is on the portal, uh, which I haven't done. If I haven't done the portal video, it'll probably come out the day after this, in which case you can just watch that. But the machining is so good on the portal that... All right, it was just a little fuzzy in there. You get these really sharp edges, um, but the, yet they don't feel sharp. But it looks like they had to round these off a little bit. Um, but again, that might do to just the mass and the weight causing some serious hot spot issues. And the rounding isn't perfect. But let me tell you, for the amount of tungsten here and the amount of machining that goes into this and what he's charging, I mean, this is 25 bucks more than the tr tungsten tri-fidget, which has a lot of machining as well. I'm not trying to say anything about them. I think that's priced appropriately as well. Um, I think this is a little underpriced, to be honest, even with if, you, if you're not happy with the inconsistencies and in some of the finishing on these corners not being exact. Um, I'm okay with that because, again, this, this stuff is just hard to work with. You know, and they took a lot of time, and you know, he's got a machinist that's willing to try these swirl patterns. Oh, and on the portal, well, let's see. On the portal, they're like just like three even lines. On this one, it sort of swirls at an angle. And this one, it's closer to straight. This one, it's closer to straight. This one, it's at a weird angle. What about the other side? One's at an angle, and then two are straight. So something with the way the machining swirls around there, I'm not sure. But it does a cool, like, portal effect. And this is something I don't show in my portal video. I realized after the fact I didn't really show that. I did the video outside. So you don't really see that spin effect the way it reflects the light and kind of plays with your eye there. But um, the portal is really good for that. That's part of why I think it's named the portal is it makes this weird, like, portal type effect. And again, we got amazing buttons. Uh, these are, I think, a little different than the portal buttons in that the dish is flatter. The steps uh, step in quicker. So they're probably still 21 millimeter buttons. <clears throat> but we're at home now, so we got all our tools. Set that to millimeters. Yep, 22 millimeters. 53 millimeters, let's do that to inches. So yeah, a little over two inch spin diameter. So it's a little on the smaller side for a spinner, not super small, but a lot of weight in there. A lot of weight in there. Really good. We're happy with this. <clears throat> yes, sir, re Bob. I think I want to get this video out today. So this video is going to come out before the portal video. Um, what we'll try and do is I'll try and get some spin time set up. Obviously, this is right out of the box, but I'll get some spin times uh, put up on the video. Um, I'll just put them in the bottom somewhere around here probably um, and see what we're looking at. Now, those spin times, I'm probably not going to have time to both spin and clean the bearing out on this guy. So they're really just going to be 
spin times as is. Um, you know, the bearing will probably break in, so, um, and get some cleaning. If they're really terrible, I may have to try to do that. Um, if you remember with the tungsten tri-fidget, we were getting like two and a half minute table spin, something like that. Um, I cleaned, I spun it a lot, cleaned it, and then we were getting eight minute table spins, 14 minute verticals. So this again, with so much weight, I, I would, the table spins are probably gonna drop in speed pretty quickly, but these spins should be pretty good. So yeah, a little bit of wobble there and a really fast spin. See if I can get my hand perfectly steady so you can see the wobble. But again, tungsten, you have, you, you guys gotta realize if you have tungsten that that's gonna happen. There's material density that's just really hard to compensate for. If I wanted to finish this off myself, I could, oh, um, I could, I could figure out which bearing, which uh, arm was the heaviest, right? So it's this one right here. And I could basically just try and sand or grind this down a little bit. Not that I'm gonna do that with this guy until it just was even, evenly balanced. Nice feedback, nice hum. Let's see if this does the same thing that the other one did. No, so you don't get that portal sound. Which this video came out first when you see my portal video, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, we don't get that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, first look, tri-portal. Tungsten. Get yourself some. I'm curious to see if this goes up on the secondary market for ridiculous prices. And then if people pay with it. So we'll see. Mm-hmm. I don't know what else to say, y'all, but Yum yum chocolate chip honey dip. Mm hmm. Love it. We're gonna put, I think, the, uh, we're gonna try the superconductor buttons that are on the tri fidget as well. And see how they look on here. Put on them shoes. Put on them shoes. You guys wanna see it up close one more time? Oh, let's see if it does that light effect. I think it will. We gotta go really slow. A little tougher to do because the balance is off a little bit more on that one arm. But yeah, you get that same cool effect of just the light reflecting off those facets. Which looks pretty cool. Probably easier to do that sideways. All right, y'all. So Tungsten Tri-Fidget, uh, Tungsten Tri-Portal, y'all. Emerson Hodges, Random Fabrications. Mm-hmm. We are happy. We are happy with our purchase. We're happy we pre-ordered this, so. All right, y'all. Peace out and kisses.